If you use Blender, you probably use Eevee or Cycles. But what if I tell you that Blender has another free render engine called Octane? But why would you use it? Well... Octane is an unbiased render engine, meaning that it shows exactly what your scene would look like if it was shot in real life. In simpler terms, it's so fucking realistic. Other than that, it has so many other great features like industry standard layer passes, Octane Scatter, Light linking, displacement, advanced out of texture cool baking, and so much more. So, how do we get our hands on this thing? First of all, go inside the developer's website, otoy.com. Then press on Shop, Retrial, Octane Render Prime Free Tier, which most people use because it has all the features they need with just some minor limitations. Like not being able to use more than one GPU for rendering. After that, press on try now and that will lead you to this page with two download links, one for the Blender Octane itself and another for the Octane server, which you have to download both. After downloading, go ahead and install them. Now after you've installed, make sure to first run Octane server and push your account information. Then press on activate. Then you'll see that wait, here it says that my account will expire. But don't worry, it won't. I don't know why it still says that. Now launch Blender Octane. When you open it, it looks pretty much like a normal Blender. But if you go into your render settings to select your render engine, you'll see that everything is the same. That's because that you have to first go into your preferences, add-ons, and here search for Octane and enable it. Then if you close this window, you'll see that Octane is now one of your render engines. And that's it. Thanks for watching, bye. Okay, so you're not done yet. Cause now if we go into the render view, it's black. And that's because we're still using the default Blender environment. So you first need to go into your scene settings, delete this default world, and add a new one. Then you will see that you are not blind anymore. Now, here is the part where you have two options. Either leave this video and spend days of your time on Oxen forums trying to find the answer to your simple problem, or you can stay and I will show you all the necessary settings that will save you from throwing all that time and energy to waste. So, here's your Octane starter pack. By now, you might have realized that your colors don't look right, and that's because you're using the wrong view transform. Simply go into your render settings, scroll down, and open the color management section. You'll see that you're still using the AGX view transform, which is not what we want. And as it says here, we should set this to raw, so Octane could handle the colors itself. If you ever start rendering with Octane, you may encounter things like this, that are called fireflies. And there are a couple of things that you can do to get rid of them. First thing is to go into your render settings and change this GI clamp value from 1 million, which is by default super unnecessarily high, to something around 5 to 10. And that alone should clear up things pretty good. If that didn't help, press N on your keyboard to open up the end panel. Then open the Octane tab and under Octane Imager, mess around with the hot pixel removal slider till your fireflies are mostly gone. Also, make sure to check these checkboxes. This way your settings will be consistent throughout your different cameras. If you found your render preview really slow, Make sure to turn on this option called subsampling in the render settings. Keep in mind that the smaller your window is, the faster your render preview is going to be. There are tons of other things that don't fit in one video, 
so I provided you with some of my favorite Blender Octane YouTube videos in the description that will help you along your journey. And with that, bye, see ya.